Hi everyone and thanks for watching PsyQ. You might be wondering about gluten and whether avoiding gluten is something that you should be doing. We got this question a lot, especially with the gluten craze and going on gluten-free diets becoming more popular. But what is gluten and why would anyone pay more to get gluten-free food that often tastes like rubbish? Gluten is a protein that is found in wheat, but also some other types of grains, including rye and barley. It's part of the plant that is used to help the seed to germinate. Having gluten in our bread affects the chewiness, which is why gluten-free bread is often dry and not really as appealing as normal gluten-filled bread. Like MSG and sugar, gluten itself isn't bad for your health if you don't have a sensitivity to it. So if you are gluten intolerant, obviously gluten is no good for you. But if you're a normal, average, healthy adult with no sensitivities at all, gluten is perfectly fine. A lot of people started to avoid gluten-free foods when celiac disease and gluten sensitivity started to be more publicized in the media a few years ago. Around one in a hundred people do have some form of celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, which means if they eat gluten, their body will have an autoimmune response that means that it will cause damage to their intestines and can be life-threatening. But for most normal adults, eating gluten is totally fine. Your body breaks it down in the same way that it would break down sugar or any other product. Health-conscious people thought maybe if these guys are avoiding gluten and it makes their health better, Maybe I should avoid gluten too, just in case I have a sensitivity and then my health will get better. But really, if you're a healthy adult and you start avoiding gluten, it also means you miss out on lots of nutrients and fiber. And that means that you can feel less healthy overall. Gluten is found in things like bread, pasta, soy sauce, and many soups. So if you cut these foods out of your diet, you're also missing out on some fiber, lots of minerals, and a wide variety of vitamins. So bottom line is, if you suspect you do have a gluten sensitivity, you can do one of two things. Try cutting gluten out of your diet and slowly introducing it and monitor your health carefully. Or go and see a doctor. Seeing a doctor is the best way to get a proper diagnosis to see if you really do have a serious illness like celiac disease. There's no point eating gluten-free foods just in case. It can actually make your health a lot worse. So if you don't have the illness, gluten is totally fine and in fact, very much encouraged. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.